Stay golden, pony boy. One of my friends was talking about taking pictures during the golden hour and blue hour. What are those? The golden hour is a specific thing. Some people call the blue hour the golden hour by mistake. Some people uh, refer to the blue hour as being the hour after the golden hour, which is what I do. So I'll explain to you how, how these, these work. The golden hour is the hour after sunrise, after the sun crests the horizon, and is the hour before sunset, the hour leading up to when the sun descends behind the horizon. If you live in the mountains, the golden hour is going to be slightly different because the sun goes behind the mountains more quickly than it goes behind the ocean. Also, if you live in some place like California, the Bay Area especially, LA as well, San Diego to, another, to a different extent, the golden hour is particularly gorgeous on some nights because the sun is set behind the mountains, but it's still above the ocean out to the west, and so the light bounces off the ocean comes back up, bounces off the clouds. It's very red, very warm, very golden. Gives the uh, a very warm tone to the light in the evenings on the coast here in California. So that's when the golden hour is. What it means is just that the light from the sun has to pass through more of the atmosphere. Let me show you what that means. So we have the earth right here. At noon, the sun is shining down from above and the light just has to go straight through a thin layer of atmosphere. At sunset, the sun's over here, and the light has to go through a long cross-section of atmosphere. This causes the light to become warmer and redder by removing some of the shorter wavelengths, such as the blues and the greens, as the light passes through the atmosphere. This is what gives golden hour its color, its warmth. Now, after the sun sets behind the horizon, you get what's called the blue hour, which is where light is very blue. You don't have the warmth of the sun directly, just the, uh, the remnant blue light. So that gives things a very cool look, but it's also a very nice controlled lighting. It's also in some places the hour before sunrise. Uh, not every place experiences a blue hour before then. But, um, Basically what we're talking about is cool lighting or warm lighting and how flattering it is to subjects. In both cases, blue hour and golden hour lighting is very flattering to subjects. Portraits do very, very well during the golden hour as a right up until the sun is set or shortly after it rises. Architectural photography does very well during the blue hour because lights are starting to turn on and buildings look very flattered in that lighting. So basically, golden hour, blue hour, they're a time of day and they have uses that are good for specific types of photography.